it won't be this a free to hear back from the deck review. Uh, pretty quick deck review, I think. This is a Harry Potter deck. This is from Osmond in Japan. Came out a year or so ago, maybe a year and a half. I don't remember for sure. It's kind of been on my radar for a while, but I've been hesitant to get it because it was pricey. But I happened to come across this one on eBay that was like 20 bucks. So I jumped at it. It was like a steal of a deal. It's nice to see that for a chain instead of everything being sold at price. Front says Harry Potter, and you see the castle in Harry Potter and some other symbols, including the Hogwarts symbol and angel wings and whatnot. I don't know all the symbols, unfortunately. And it says United States Point the Company on one side, Made in USA on the other, nothing on top, at copy on the bottom. Doesn't say when it came out. But some soul smooth production and Osmond and Grace hmm. with some trademark stuff, of course. Um, again, doesn't say when it was made. And the back shows you the back design, which features the Hogwarts symbol. Does it say something on there? I can't read it. Does say Draco Dormian's Nunquam. Titarandos, something like that, something in Latin, something big, big words in Latin. Don't know what it means. You got some witch brooms, witch hats, moons, all sorts of symbols. Pretty cool. It says Harry Potter, top and bottom. Custom seal says HP with, it must be Harry's, uh, no, it's some kind of a creature. I'm not sure what it is. Nothing on the flaps, which is interesting. You need to get a blank card. And then the back design is the same as the back of the box. Nice blue and goldish color with some silver. It's a full moon. You do get a double backer as well. And then the Jokers, that's, I guess it's Harry Potter's owl. I don't recall correctly. They're the same. And the Aces page has this symbol. Deathly Hallows. Uh, is that one of the movies? I can't recall for sure. <laughs> Some kind of a symbol. I don't know what it is. Unfortunately, that is the extent of it. The rest is completely standard with uh, some uh, metallic inks on the court cards in gold. It's a little hard to see, perhaps, but it's there. But it's completely standard, unfortunately. I guess it is designed more for, like, magicians and... You know, card games and stuff like that, and not for, it's not designed to be a extravagant custom deck. If you want a more extravagant custom Harry Potter deck that's more affordably priced, you'd get the ones from Fairy 11. But it's fine for what it is. I'm glad I got it for a decent price. The bicycle stock, Eric and Venice. And, um, yeah, it's nice for what it is. I'll give it a B. It's nothing too exciting. Um, but it's fine. That is that. Comment, like, subscribe, and what you think. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.